Connecting Central Texas. This is Good Morning Texas. Good morning. I'm Sierra Shipley. And I'm Joe Gum. Here are your top stories for today. In McLennan County, a close race between two Republicans running for a chance at a U.S. House seat. Dennis Turner was there to get the results of the neck and neck race. This one being called a runoff between Republicans Pete Sessions and Renee Swan. Sessions coming in at 32% in Swan, who is currently backed by incumbent Bill Flores, narrows in at 19%. And at least 25 people are dead after a powerful tornado tore through parts of Tennessee. The National Guard has been deployed to help search for people who might be buried in the devastation. President Trump is planning to witness the devastation firsthand on Friday. And now it's time for a check on your first alert forecast. And I'm meteorologist Josh Johns. We'll look at your updated 10 day forecast. We're expecting showers and thunderstorms this morning. We'll start off with temperatures in the 60s, but temperatures will drop through the day thanks to a cold front working through. Again, a 90% chance of storms this morning, some of which could be on the strong side. We'll be tracking them for you. And then as we go through the night, we'll still see the potential for rain that lingering into Thursday morning. Then we'll dry out Thursday, and that'll lead to a pretty dry weekend with temperatures in the 60s.